Guess what day it is. Uh oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. New fish day. Woo -woo! And how happy is Zach on new fish day? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. On today's video, we are doing something super exciting. Something that has been months of planning. I've like reached out and gotten outside help on ways to set up this tank. And I cannot wait to show you what we're going to do and how this tank looks. Not to brag or toot my own horn, it's the greatest looking tank that I've ever made. Also somewhere in this video, I am going to give you at home an opportunity to win some native fish of your very own. Maybe you've got a collection of them you wanna add or you wanna dive into the native fish game. Today is your day you will have that chance. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to go to the UPS store where I have not one, but two boxes of fish waiting for me. And we're gonna pass the largest tank that I have ever set up, but I'm not gonna show you what that is. Let's go to UPS. So these are what you would call very large boxes of fish and I'm super excited to get them open but I want to tell you a little bit more about this particular order and where I got it from. If you followed the channel for a while then you know I order all my native fish from a place called Jonah's Aquarium. Mark over there is the man. I reached out to him and I said I'm looking for these specific fish and he said I've got them. So that's simple enough. But the reason that this is such a special order is there's another fish in here that actually works together it, it's confusing i'll explain it but uh let me show you the tank that they're going to go in and then we'll come back and we'll open them up so here it is everyone here is the tank that i am the most proud of the way it looks out of any tank i've ever made so this tank here is 125 gallons so it's six feet across and it has a bunch of just big pieces of driftwood. Those are actually two different pieces. And then this guy here sticks out of the top, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut it off there. Um, this tank is not finished. I'm gonna put a bunch of plants like back there and then do some floating stuff and some more plants over here to really keep it natural. But I think this tank looks fantastic. Let me know what you guys think down below. But anyway, let's get back to the fish. So this is the first box of the two. I'm just gonna go ahead and open both of them really quick and then I'll show you what's inside. So cue the cutting open montage. I already did that. Oh, those are cool. They're big too. All right, let me show you what we're working with. The first bag of fish here contains obviously a lot of little tiny fish, but these are no ordinary fish. These are sunfish, but not just any sunfish. These are long ear sunfish. And in my opinion, long ear sunfish are one of the most beautiful and incredible species of sunfish that you can get. Let's talk about some of the facts. Long-eared sunfish can be found through a large portion of the United States. And what that means for a lot of you is this is a fish that you can actually go out and find in your backyard. It's something that you can catch, observe, all kinds of stuff. Long-eared sunfish can reach sizes of over nine inches in the wild, and they can be found in a wide range of temperatures. The interesting thing about these sunfish is as the temperature increases, they're going to get more aggressive, they're going to be hungrier, they're going to grow faster, and that's also going to trigger spawning behavior. And spawning is something that's very interesting that I want to talk more about later. The second bag of fish that we're looking at here is what's known as red fin shiners. And I'm sure you can probably tell where they get their name from as a couple of these fish were starting to color up in the bag. Much like the long ear sunfish, these shiners can be found throughout large portions of the United States. They max out at a size of around three and a half inches. And while they do tend to prefer cooler temperatures, as the water gets warmer, they will start to color up more and they will go into spawning behavior, which makes them a perfect complement to the long ear sunfish in my aquarium. And I'm gonna tell you why after we add the fish to the tank. You got me 
trapped inside this spell Now I feel it, now I feel it Your demons drag me close to hell I can feel it So I mentioned earlier that the redfin shiners were going to make a perfect complement to the long ear sunfish inside this aquarium. And to understand why that is, you need to know what's going to happen as far as nest building, spawning, and breeding for these sunfish. The male sunfish is going to dig out a little spot in the substrate, a little nest. The female will come in and lay her eggs, and then it's the male sunfish's job to protect those eggs. Well, how do the redfin shiners make the perfect complement in that regard? The redfin shiners are what's known as nest associates, and what this means is that they will swim into the male sunfish nest, lay their eggs, and then the male sunfish will actually protect them. Now, no harm is done to the sunfish eggs, neither of them are eating the eggs, the male sunfish just protects all of these eggs, they will all hatch, the shiners will go do their thing, the sunfish will go do their thing, and now I have a bunch of babies in the aquarium, and I am fish nerding out to think that we're going to be able to film that and get that on camera. In an effort to trigger that spawning behavior, I've actually started simulating warm summer days in this aquarium. I've done that by raising the temperature to about 76, 78 degrees. I'm leaving the lights on for longer periods of time throughout the day. Now, as the weather outside starts to change, I'm gonna mimic that in the tank as well. The lights will be off for longer periods of time throughout the day they'll get less food, and I'll decrease the temperature of the water, simulating winter, allowing them to kind of just take it easy. So honestly, I'm fish nerding out about how this tank is going and really trying to mimic their natural environment in more ways than just how it looks. And that's what brings me to the giveaway. The bulk of that information that I just shared with you didn't actually come from up here or things that I found on the Googles. Most of that stuff came from Mark himself. When I started this project, I reached out to him and said, I want a colorful sunfish, what would you recommend? And from there, he recommended the long ears, he recommended the red fin shiners, he told me about substrate, heating, lighting, all kinds of different stuff so that I could set up a perfect native tank to mimic as closely as I can to the rivers and stuff where these fish are found. He is so knowledgeable and so helpful that I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to share that same experience and at the same time get some unbelievable fish. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to give away four $25 gift cards. Getting entered into the giveaway couldn't be any easier. Go down to the description of this video and you will find a link to Jonah's Aquarium on Instagram. Go to their Instagram page, give them a follow. That's step one. Step two, find their most recent post with a picture of the grass pickerel. That has the full stocking list of everything they have available right now. Read through that, find whatever fish jumps out to you, what fish you would want to keep, what fish you would buy, and then come back here to my video and comment down below whatever fish you chose, and the word done. That's how I'll know you followed them, that's how I know you'll be entered. In a week from today, when this video drops, I will pick four random winners, and I will give you further details on how to order your fish. That's it, that's all you need to do to be entered. But let's go feed my new fish, because they're fun to watch eat. So that's gonna just about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited about this tank. I'm really excited to start documenting the breeding and getting more pictures of these guys as they color up. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a super fun tank. This is also now my new standard for aquariums as far as scape and making them look natural and native and everything like that. I'm gonna do more stuff like this. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that as well. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Drop those comments, get entered into that giveaway, I'm excited, and uh, yeah. This is Zach with SC Fishkeeping reminding you that every fish is a keeper. Thanks for watching. And how sad. What?
Alright. No. I didn't know how these long fin. This one. The long. For real, for real. So I mentioned. I mentioned before that the long. It's just gonna. Hehehehe <laughs>